So two days ago, Kim Kardashian was interviewed at the 2023 Time 100 Summit and she was asked by the interviewer if she could ever see herself living a life without the cameras. And her answer is somehow both shocking and yet incredibly predictable at the same time. Would you ever consider a life without the cameras? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I do feel like I have a, um, there's a lot that's always on TV and a lot that's always out there, but I think my friends and my family know we really cherish a lot of our private times. Um, I would be just as happy being an attorney full time and doing that. Um. <laughs> I absolutely love how Kim says there's nothing her family cherishes more than their private time, but she does everything and anything in her power to record every single little thing that goes on in her life. I mean, she does it so much that North starts crying because she won't put the camera away. And Sage straight up says that he hates everybody watching the recording that Kim is making because it happens so much. This is called Instagram Live. Hi, weirdos. Hey, stop it. Hi, vloggers. If you're watching this, I hate you. Hey, Sage. I'm watching it. Hey, I hate hey you. look what you're teaching him. It's good. Hey. If you really cherish your private time with your family, Kim, then how come you couldn't put the phone away for one minute while you're at a concert with your niece. <laughs> I mean, clearly Penelope wanted the private moment, but it was you who pulled out the camera because you can't help yourself. Do I need to remind you, Kim, that you literally came out and said that your selfie addiction was ridiculous? Or how when Chris was trying to tell Kim that she spent way too much time on her phone, she couldn't even listen to her own mother because she was on her damn phone. She couldn't get off of it. So you guys, I want to set up a meeting with this communication professional to go over always being on our phones. And I found this really great person that Courtney actually Wait, found. a meeting about always being on our phones? Yeah, what? Yeah. You're never not on your phone. You don't care about privacy and you certainly love your fame too much to let go of it. I mean, you literally admitted it yourself. If you were to ask me years ago, when I first started my career, I would have done anything to be famous. I'm so open and honest about the fact that I love being famous. <laughs> there goes my ring. <laughs> Some people are made for it better than others. I would be lying if I said I didn't feel like I could handle it and if I didn't feel like I was made for it. And then, like the great lawyer Kim is, admits to not really putting any work in and just making a couple phone calls to get the job done. And I felt like it was a fairly easy experience for me when I know it shouldn't be to help get someone out. It takes 10, 20 years to do what I did in six months. And I didn't realize the fight at that time. Mm -hmm. To me, that was a few phone calls. The audacity of this woman to say, oh, I did what the legal system does in 10 to 20 years in just a couple months. When all you did is make a couple phone calls. And then for Kim to have the further audacity to say that it was easy, oh my God. Kim, hmm, I wonder why. Maybe it's because all you did was click some buttons on the screen, say blah, 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 and call it a day. <laughs> I'm not surprised she barely put any work in because not only did she have to take the baby bar exam several times. You passed so the I've baby bar, which is harder. Yeah, so the baby bar has like a 16% pass rate. Wow. I mean, it took me a few tries, you know. Okay. But also, Actual lawyers have come out to say that what Kim considers hard is actually quite the opposite. For context, constitutional law is a fundamental core course in graduate law school. It is not supposed to be very difficult. Source, I am a graduate law student. I can confirm, as a law student, it's generally been the most hated subject amongst myself and my peers just because it's so dense and half the time, the court seems to make crap up as they go along. The better question is, why is she still in constitutional law when she started law school so many years ago? This is foundational stuff 
and she should have moved on long ago to more advanced topic that build off of that. I started law school in 2021 and I'm already ahead of her. Also, she doesn't even know what the people in her very field are saying half the time. Kim Kardashian has said she hated how she felt when she visited the White House for the first time and didn't know half of anything officials were saying. In an interview with Angie Martinez's IRL podcast, Kardashian said she was confused by the abbreviations officials used and had to ask her lawyer what DOJ meant. Now, Kim, uh, come on! Department of Justice? Are you... Are you serious? You want to be a lawyer and you don't know what DOJ means? Why do my rings keep falling off? She told Martinez, I hated how I felt when I went into the White House for the first time and I didn't know half of anything that they were saying. Like all the clemency talks and all the attorney lingo and everything that they were talking about. You want to be an attorney, but you don't understand their language? That's like if someone said, oh, I want to be a guitarist, but I don't know the chords. I don't know the notes. You have to know. <laughs> oh my God. But hold on. Grip onto your horses, ladies and gentlemen, because it gets worse. Kardashian said she texted questions to her lawyer who had accompanied her to the White House. I didn't even know like all of the abbreviations in the White House. So they were like, okay, this person at the DOJ. And I was like, what is the DOJ? And my attorney was like, come on, <laughs> Department of Justice. Look, okay, I know some of y'all out there are like, oh, there's no such thing as stupid questions. <laughs> I think we have the very first exception in history, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, but isn't it awful lovely of Kim to suddenly decide she wants to be this noble, law-abiding, squeaky clean attorney, but has no problem illegally recording phone calls. <laughs> but on top of illegally recording phone calls, intentionally manipulating said illegal recordings to make yourself look better in the public eye is quite literally defamation. And guess what, Kim? That's illegal, darling. I mean, this legitimate law firm based in several states across the US wrote an entire piece exposing Kim for lying about passing the California general bar exam with an entire table of contents dragging her through the mud. Kim doesn't want to be a lawyer. She just loves the idea of being a lawyer. Point blank, period. End the video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah!